A lot of you guys know we recently replaced the engine on Franzi's and mine Integra sedan. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically her car at this point. We got a new engine in here, V18 V1. The V20 blew up. But recently she's been having issues where the starter will randomly stop working. It'll just click. And I'm like, come on. We replaced the entire engine. The only piece that's the same is the starter and it goes out. So we're gonna replace that really quick. We've got the work truck Z over here with some spare parts and a starter. OEM, this one is known good. <laughs> Junk. Let's compare, old versus new. Looks the same to me. Make sure you put the new one in, not the old one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she's ready for a test start. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. At your Wait, service. One more. Oh my God. <laughs> Smokes has stopped by with a manifold he has uh if you guys don't remember this is the turbo manifold for franz sr and basically there were cracks along every single joint so he has gone over all the welds and then also resurfaced, resurfaced it because uh yeah it was a banana was it yeah there was no way you were gonna ever make mate that to the car Jeez. so thankfully i got a hold of it because yeah, I was able to put it on my table and there was about a quarter inch of rock no way two. yeah it was just wobbling it was just wobbling so yeah, you would have put it on the car and you've been like, fuck. This was actually, thankfully, not too bad. Oh, this one wasn't bad? No, but might as well hit it while you're at it. Yeah, true. Gotta keep my boys looking fresh. <laughs> For real. Dude, this one really impressed me. Like, I what? Are you kidding me? The level of detail? Yeah. Like, what? The booth? The spin? The tape? Okay, yeah. No, I'm rocking this. Probably right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got to. This thing's dope. We are paying a visit to Andrew once again. Because I'm tired of having to fill up this tire every time I drive the Z. So, we're just going to switch these tires onto a different wheel. I'm going to miss these wheels. They look so good on the car. That's right. We'll get them back on here someday after they're rebuilt. Before we lower this car back down onto the ground, let's appreciate some tucked fitment. Oof. Tuck and rim. Well, it's definitely a nice change of pace to come out here and not have to fill up my tire first thing in the morning. Well, technically it wasn't this side, it was this side that was leaking, but still. But on the travels back, we lost the headlight trim. This is what it's supposed to look like, it has this little rubber seal around it, and now it just looks like a crackhead eye. But luckily my brother had a spare that came with a Z. So we're gonna attach this new one, but I'm gonna use some adhesive so it doesn't fly off. Looks like it just hugs this metal tab. And that's all that holds it in. Much better. Unfortunately, I still have no update about the 240 repair. I'm still looking for someone that can pull that out. I could attempt to do it myself, but with how much time went into this, I would rather work alongside someone that does this professionally. That way it's done correctly. Cause man, I just do not want to cut and weld another quarter panel on here. And if you missed what happened, this was done at the drift event. It just sucks coming in the garage and looking at it just completely caved in. Yeah. We've just arrived at Omar's house. I think I'm gonna start the day with trying to strip out as much accessories on top as I can. Get the speakers out and start working on pulling the gas tank and start fishing all the wiring out through that hole as well. But first, Omar wants to push out the purple parts car. Sold. How much you sell this thing for? $1,500. $1,500. Yeah. That's what you got for $1,500 these days. Hey, at least it comes with an OEM wing. All right, let me move this. This thing broke. Very easy. 
Rolls good. A lot easier than that S14 we pushed. Almost smoked the only good panel on this thing. Come on! I can't push it! I can't push wheels that are not on rollies. Oh my god. Push it out to the street. I still can't believe this is how the taillights are attached. Ooh, OEM jack? Oh, this taillight is just leaking water out. <laughs> oh, it's colored. That's gross. That's the blinker fluid. Good thing it still had some orange in it. Well, that's interesting. That's where the bumper attaches. I guess the bumper is two-piece. Disconnect my taillights. The rest of this is honestly not too difficult. Just got some random relays going on down here. I'm not sure at all what this box does. But we're gonna have to take this apart as well. And then we'll fish this side through that hole. Oh, it looks like there's a sub harness here. I don't know what that connects to. Looks like we had an auto trunk latch on here. There's a cable attached to this actuator. Definitely gonna keep that. So it looks like this sub harness actually attaches to something right here. I don't even know what that is. Let's take it off and see what it is. That's the electronic gas store actuator. What? That's pretty cool. I forgot that the gas store on this car is not a latch, it's a button. The button is right here. We are gonna have to take out the fuel tank, so I might as well take off the fuel filler neck, which connects to here. And you see all these stickers in here? There's a bunch of them. They must mean something from Japan. All right, that should be free now. So once we disconnect these bolts to hold in the tank, we'll be able to slide it out. Looks like this tube also attaches there, so we don't need to worry about taking that off. And I didn't want to go through the hassle of taking this off from the tank directly, so we'll just leave it as one piece. But I am going to have to figure out the lines because it looks like we have the fuel feed and return and then the vent over here. And it looks like that's the only disconnect spot. Might as well unplug it now. All right, most of our harness is free. We'll free up the rest of that, I think, once the tank is out, since we'll have more access to it. This trim is garbage. Hopefully there's no fuel pressure. It squirts us. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Slowly. Well, he was going to let her eat. No, I would squirt out. There is there 93 in this? Yeah. Really? Yeah, there's 93 in this tank. Actually, I don't remember what I filled up with. I filled it up on the drive home, like all the way full. I probably shouldn't uh, have. You, you love putting 93 in everything. Yes, 93 the world until there's 100 octane everywhere. Right in Juliet. Is there? Yeah, there's 100 octane in Juliet. Oh, that's right. Because, yeah, Japanese cars are tuned on one stock. Isn't it one, is it 100 or 110? Was it 110? I don't remember. It might be 110. I don't know. I've never been to Japan, so. <laughs> we gotta go. Yep, we gotta go. All right, pressure on this side, question mark. A little bit of fluid. Well, I'm just thinking, I'm gonna have to be cutting and welding in here. If <laughs> there's like a Gosh, drop. Right? Yeah, vent. This one should be easy. Yeah, we have over half a tank of gas in here. And this is a big tank. It was like 18 plus gallons. Yeah, she's all free, I guess. Unbolt the filler neck, let's get her out. I did, actually. These yeah, are still right connected in. to the tank. I don't want to disconnect those, but... Yeah, I'm just going to unbolt those and kind of slide it out. Oh, there is a vent down here. 
I can just come up with it. Apparently it's a bad idea to use an impact near a fuel tank. Let's see. <laughs> I was scared I wasn't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, this thing was not sitting in there happily. You can tell it, it's so warped. Like you can yeah, see it's it. fucking got the crescents. Yeah. It's probably stuck on it. Oh, does it got Oh my god. Dude. How heavy is this thing? There's no way it's that heavy. Oh, <laughs> it's like stuck on the seam sealer. Good primer. Yeah. It's in there good. You can't even budge it. But I don't want to use a pry bar on it. Like, I'm gonna have to start working it, I guess. It's too bad we can't really get access to it from the other side here, because that's all metal. Otherwise, we can try and push it. <laughs> here, put this around it. I'm just gonna try to grab the corner. Oh, okay. You can hear it. Yeah, it's gonna move. <laughs> Oh, it's pulling the steam suit. Oh, the steam suit is coming up to you. Got a sound deadening? Got a sound deadening, yeah. This fuel won't come out. Dang, we might have to take off the filler neck, huh? It's still in two Unless we can scoot this more, will it clear? I, it's just, there's so much weight, it's gonna come straight this way. All right. break the filler neck. Okay, now pull towards me. Oh, it's not that good. Nice. It's a pretty big tank, actually. I thought that was going to be worse. First major piece out of the way. Do you still want this? I probably should leave it so it sits on something. Actually, I will have to take all of that off to drill out the spot welds on the seam. Oh, yeah, all that's going to come out. Then you just buy the sound deadening shit. So yeah. Let's put some any old sound deadening in there. Cool. No, you put this stuff. That shit's real good. Oh yeah, Dino Man. Alright, let's finish pulling out the wiring. Let's see what this box was. Illumin? I bet it has something to do with the elimination system. I don't know. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Oh, oh, alright, you're good. That thing is long. So much better. Sweet. We'll the car cut off in an hour. Yeah, we'll have this thing chopped in half in no time. All right, well, the wiring is done. I think we'll jack it up and take a look at the bottom now. Oh, that looks spicy. No, it, it, was, <laughs> it was back feeding. That box was getting hot, so I unplugged it. It was yeah, full I of water. Yeah, I see. It still worked. That's the crazy part. It would still go up and down. Interesting. Right? You have to pull that out. Ten mils. Nah, we'll worry about that later. This is gonna get saw sawed off, so not to worry about that. Should probably find a home for this. Yeah, not in the sun. Yeah, right. Or in the garage. We're getting ready to jack this thing up, and it's probably gonna sit on jack stands until it's done. So the last time the car will be on the ground for a while. Money. Right in the place. Where should we jack it from back here? Right, right. Just right please, there? Please do it. I want to watch this. Please Me too. <laughs> but gonna, I'm glad we had the same idea. It's going to damage my floor pan, no, dude. Oh, no. It's going to straighten it out for you. It is not going up at <laughs> all. <laughs> it is literally just... Easy money. Well, she's holding all right. Pro tip, if you ever need a quick jack point, just use the spare tire well. There's a lot of spider webs under here. Yeah, I know, you're gonna put the jack stands under there. <laughs> Frame rail deals? Yeah. Coming down. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I thought that was We're way too easy. One. Ryan and I are in the process of dropping the subframe. Which means he needs to take off the exhaust. I'm gonna take off the wheels and start working on the brakes in here. And, Cause you have to take off the calipers. So we don't want to drip brake fluid everywhere, right? Oh, got it. Brian is an impact. <laughs> <laughs> gotta disconnect the coilovers first. Exhaust is ready. 
I'm not putting my face under it so I don't lose another tooth. You lost the tooth that way? That's how I chipped my tooth. Really? Yeah, you didn't know that? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, so I chipped my tooth. This exact way, pulling off an exhaust. Wait, maybe there is another hanger. There has to be, it's bouncing. I feel like Go over is that here? Side? Oh, it's right here. Oh. All right, watch your face. Yep, I got it. Yeah, this is just so bent that we're just gonna do one of these. Oh. <laughs> okay, maybe I should have... Oh, it's stuck on the heat shield. Heat shield? Damn, she's in there good, huh? Yeah. Thank you for putting the nuts back, Brian. That's how you know. Real mechanic right there, baby. What I do. Whoa, it looks like there's a bigger pin on the bottom and a smaller pin on the top. Is it always like that? Yeah. Well, not always. I didn't so, know that. Hmm. Nissan's in particular. Yeah, these are different calipers from what I'm used to seeing. Usually they have the e-brake built into these, but these are just separate. Kind of like the 300ZX. These look the know, same as the Pathfinders. Pathfinders? Same rear calipers. Dude, these, are, these pads are way too small to be on a Pathfinder. For the rear? Yeah. No. Uh, Z-brake conversion coming in soon. <laughs> Before I proceed any further, I'm gonna vacuum out all these spider webs in here. The last thing I want is a spider to just be crawling across my face while under the car. So since the e-brake is separate from the caliper, we need to disconnect the lines. Now, I didn't want to disconnect them from the knuckle because that looks like quite a big job to do. So we're just gonna disconnect the lines first from the mount here and then from the cable itself where this attaches. And we're also gonna have to disconnect the drive shaft. That's only four bolts though, not too bad. It's crazy to think that these have been on here for almost 30, actually, over 30 years. This is a 91. That's crazy. Oh, that's gonna be one of those. Damn, she's stuck on there. All right. Drive shaft's cleared. Cables are cleared. I think we're ready to unbolt this thing. Got the coilovers off. Those are free. There's four 17s, I think. Oh, and the brace. Might as well get the brace off while we're down here, too. Man, working on rust-free stuff is so nice. Here in the Midwest, we don't get that too often. All right, before we take off any more nuts and bolts, we need to put the jack under there before the subframe falls on us. I usually just put it right on the dip. Now usually S chassis, because they have similar subframes, the bushings will just fall out of them completely. But I have a feeling that these are gonna be in good shape. Probably because this car has less than 30,000 miles on it. Subframe brace. Okay, let's see how she cooperates. Let's go straight down. That honestly went way smoother than I anticipated. No issues, no binds. Oh, although I did forget to unplug this. What is this even plugged into? Nothing? What is this for then? Oops. Just so I don't lose this hardware, I'm gonna put these back on the ooh, immaculate studs. Oh my gosh, it still has the zinc coating on there. Come on, that is so fresh. Yeah, that's clean. Oh, the coilovers are hitting. Oh, stud style. That's like the S14. S13 has a stud in the knuckle. That's different. Some Fortune Autos. I've never had a set of these. I will say this car did drive really smooth. I didn't really abuse the car yet, so I don't have that much to go off of, but just for cruising, these are pretty nice.
good bushing good bushing good bushing and good bushing man they have added weights to these subframes too so we're basically trying to prep the car to be ready to be chopped up. Scared, dude, it's bolted in. Oh, thank God. I was so nervous <laughs> that you had to yank out this trim. It basically goes from the C pillar all the way across to the A pillar. On the Integras, it's just clips. So when you yank it out, it's on the four doors only. You have to just hope and pray that it doesn't crack. But it looks like they have fellows. the same style screws as the S chassis to remove this. Thank God, I was so nervous. Nice. I was like, this is gonna break. I, I know, when I do mine on E36, I'm like, they're gonna just, it's all gonna come off bad. Yeah. You know? The old crusty hardware, dude. Even the seal looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. It's got 40,000 miles, less than 40 kilometers. 40, yeah. 40,000 kilometers. For real. Got 20,000 miles on this thing. Dude, we're sailing. We're gonna have this thing fixed by the end of the video. <laughs> we gotta start cutting. <laughs> yeah, where's the cutoff wheels? Dang, does that mean I have to take off the whole thing then? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, I hate putting these back in. Yeah. Oh, Do not lose those. Yeah, this is the same for the S13. Thank you, Nissan. There we go, there we go, working it. Woo, that's a big trim piece. Oh my gosh. Don't bend it. Don't bend that one. What's a chance you'd ever find? I was about to say, where would I ever find one of these ever again? Too bad it's dented. I wonder if that can be pulled out. Looks like this rubber trim has a bolt holding it on from the bottom. Or I guess a screw slash bolt. Never seen that before. Interesting. Looks like Omar and Paige, his girlfriend, got a new project car. This is not an S chassis, dude. <laughs> it's a first, huh? First non S chassis build. It's what's, monumental. What's the plan? A little street car for my girlfriend. Aww. Yeah, <laughs> I should get them back. Yeah, I should spin Wait, out in front of that one. one She's very indecisive on colors, though. I mean, you're a long ways away from that. Uh, we gotta get going on it, though. <laughs> interior true. wise, at least. You missing some stuff? It it's looks got like. got a blue interior, which she doesn't want. What? The so, blue is sick. I do like the blue, but. Especially because the car is blue. We're changing the exterior color too. Mm. Uh, I think she wants brown interior. Brown or black? Black. She's probably leaning more towards brown. <laughs> Do they make brown for FCs? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, she wants to paint the exterior brown. Brown on brown. Brown on brown. This will be a turd on wheels. Poop on poop. So, yeah, I mean, if anyone's got any leads. So brown, we're looking for brown interior. Brown FC interior. And you need a hatch, or I guess the glass. I need, no, a whole hatch. I need a whole rear hatch. I need S5 tails. S5 tails. center. Garnet, I don't know anything about FC, so if I see something wrong, don't fucking flame me. Full brown interior, we need. Steering wheel stuff? Fenders. I want a turbo two hood. Turbo two hood. I gotta look through the interior, I don't know. Oh, I mean, I'm sure. Uh, I don't know how it is with FC. Maybe the brown interior is the the column. The column plastics are also brown. I don't know. I and mean, the F13s are black, no matter what interior you have. So. Right? Am I tweaking? No, you're right. Same with the Z. The column is black. Yeah. You, front fenders, bumper, rig kit. I kind of want to just do like a little turbo too. I mean, it's up to her, honestly. But in my mind, I'm envisioning like a turbo two clone. Anything in here? Need a front subframe. You just reminded me. Oh yeah, this has some welds v on it. V8 mount. Looks probably. like a V8 mount. That, that's Fucking my guess. Web. No rust. rust Come on. Free. This thing is sick. Thing Potential. Is sick. I've always wanted an SR swap. Whoa, that's cool. FC. The heater core is like that. What? Is that copper? It looks like it. It's not plastic. It looks like copper. The way it's corroded. Yeah. Whole new chassis. Whole new chassis. That's cool. Four bolt in the front. Damn, I didn't notice that. That's weird, huh? Yeah. Kind of like the, what do they call it? Like the flammable warning labels? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the different levels of flammability. Or... Missing some, <laughs> some pop-up stuff. What am I missing? The support? Oh, yeah, this guy popped off. Oh, it just popped off? That's cool. I like how the lights move like that. I didn't know they did that. Yeah, I mean, if she wants a kit, I definitely want a kit. That... Kind of like the S13. Comes right. up to the, I don't like those headlight buckets. You know that BN kit where it's like cut out? Yeah, no. I don't like that look. Me either. Well, sweet, dude. 
You have one mirror? Track mirror. Are there a difference between Turbo 2 mirrors and non? I'm willing to bet there are. I would assume so. Huh? Is that plastic? Yeah. Yeah, I bet that was a Turbo 2 mirror. Looks like a little Ganador. Right. Red sunroof. That's nifty. Metal? You know what would be cool? If this wasn't here. <laughs> Slick top? And if it had manual doors. These power? I think they only came power. Oh, really? Yeah. Pretty sure. I could be wrong. I have no but... idea, man. I don't know anything. It's from the, the 80s. Started. They had to have a manual option. I'm pretty sure they only came power. Maybe that's FDs. FDs only powered? That makes sense. Wait, what else am I missing? Suspension. <laughs> Do these come option like 300? The 300ZXs, do they come with buckets like two this? Plus two, 2 plus 0 type yeah, thing? Yeah, like 2 plus 0 stuff. I don't know. But we have the buck. We have one bucket. <laughs> one bucket? Yeah, some asshole cut the other one in half or cut the top off of it. What the heck? So what the oh, it's like a storage tray. Yeah, they cut they cut the whole thing off. Damn. Why well, she's be rare as fuck? I don't know. What a shame. Looks like you need some lug nuts. <laughs> need some wheels. I gotta figure out what kind of specs these cars need. Just throw a good. classic 17915 and just go from there. Yeah, let me get your wheels, dog. You could try them on if you want. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, they're five lugs from the factory, what? I mean, I just realized that. Are they normal five lug? I don't know. Are they 114 or? I feel like are they, they are weird? four lug. Maybe this is five lug swap. These are 114, right? That's my guess. Yeah. And the FD's 114. Yeah, it looks like it. Well, hit up Omar. You got some parts. He will pay top dollar for them. I'll trade us chassis parts. <laughs> I will pay bottom dollar for them. I'll pay your bottom dollar for them. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that thing ain't moving. <laughs> I've just removed the trim for the door here and there's also a little panel on the bottom and it even says Gloria on it. Pretty fancy, I know. I want to take off this little stub here. This continues the trim that's on the door. I ended up taking off the front wheels so Omar could pressure wash them really quick because I plan on selling them. So if you're interested in them, please let me know. I don't really want to ship them out. So if you're local to Illinois, you can come pick them up. The specs are 19 by nine and a half plus 20 to 30 ish. It didn't say the offset in the back. It's kind of weird, but it does say 19 by nine and a half. But I think that's where we're going to end today's video. We have a really good stopping point. So now the next time we come out to the car, we can just start cutting and drilling out all the spot welds. So I'm really looking forward to that. But thank you guys so much for sticking around for another video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. One of the cars here is leaked almost all the oil out. Oh wait, that's the Z.